Hello everyone. In this video, the focus will be on pin type insulators. Insulators are vital components in power transmission systems, playing a crucial role in preventing faults and ensuring the safety of transmission lines. They are designed to support the weight and tension of power cables while providing adequate insulation to prevent electrical leakage to the ground. Pin type insulators are made from different materials, each offering specific properties. Now, porcelain, glass, and composite pin type insulators will be examined in more detail. Porcelain pin type insulators support 11, 20, and 33 kV distribution lines. The conductor placed in the top groove of the insulator and secured by a wire. The insulator is attached to the cross arm by a spindle firmly fixed inside it. The key materials used in these insulators are kaolin, or ceramic soil, feldspar, and quartz. These materials are essential for enhancing thermal, electrical, and mechanical endurance. Increased feldspar content enhances electrical resistance, higher quartz content boosts mechanical durability, and greater kaolin content improves thermal resistivity. The top surface of these insulators is often coated with a black graphite layer which evenly distributes the electric field across the surface, preventing its concentration between the conductor, the securing wire, and the porcelain surface of the insulator. Porcelain insulators typically have one or two layers of cement to enhance their strength. Additionally, the area around the spindle is filled with soft metal like lead or cement to prevent the porcelain from contacting hard steel and breaking under bending torque. However, porcelain pin-type insulators may contain air bubbles or cracks that can impair insulation performance and lead to failure. Glass pin-type insulators are known for their excellent dielectric strength, resistance to weathering, and long service life. The manufacturing process begins by heating a blend of materials, including lime and quartz powder, to extremely high temperatures. This molten mixture is then quickly cooled in a mold, a process known as toughening. The result is a strong and durable insulator that efficiently supports the power transmission lines while withstanding the harshest elements. Composite insulators have been introduced as a superior alternative to ceramic and glass insulators. These insulators consist of at least two insulating materials, one that provides electrical properties and another that offers mechanical strength. Composite insulators are composed of the following components. Core. The core is the primary component of composite insulators designed to withstand the mechanical load imposed by the conductor wire and transfer this tensile force to the tower, housing. The housing protects the core from weathering and moisture damage, and it also reduces creeping currents. Typically made from silicone rubber with additives like ethylene propylene and aluminum trihydrate, the housing's length and the number of its sheds can be adjusted based on the voltage level and the specific requirements of the region. End connections. These connectors link the insulator to the tower and the conductive cable, ensuring secure and efficient transmission of electrical energy. The advantages of composite insulators include, one, they are flexible and unbreakable. Two, silicone insulators have the ability to repel water. Three, using these insulators in power lines eliminates the need for periodic washings, significantly reducing line maintenance costs. Four, their lightweight nature compared to glass and ceramic insulators makes them easier to transport and install. Five, the probability of composite insulators breaking during transportation and installation is negligible. And is disadvantages are, one, the higher price of raw materials as compared to other insulators. Two, the lack of experienced labor. Three, sensitivity to UV radiation and decreased mechanical resistance over time. Some advantages of glass insulators include, one, the glass insulators have higher resistance to breaking as compared to the ceramics and its mechanical compressive strength is 1.5 times higher than ceramics. 2. The electrical resistance is much higher than that of ceramic insulators. 3. Thermal expansion coefficient of glass insulators is small. Also, glass insulators before cracking are completely crushed, 
so it is easy to detect faulty insulators on the floor. 4. Due to transparency, sun or sun rays pass from the glass insulator, thereby decreasing the degradation of insulator. Some disadvantages of glass insulators include 1. The mechanical durability of glass insulators against bending forces is slightly less than that of ceramics. 2. By a strong impact, all insulator will break. 3. The glass insulators absorb contaminations easier than other types of insulators. 4. The moisture easily distilled on the surface of the glass insulators. Porcelain insulators, despite the benefits of being cheap, relatively simple manufacturing technology and suitable mechanical endurance, have some disadvantages such as 1. Due to their intrinsic bonding type, the ceramics are brittle and sensitive to the crack. Micro cracks in the ceramic structure can convert to the bigger ones, thereby the destruction of the insulator. 2. Ceramic insulators contain a higher weight than glass and composite insulators. 3. In the desert areas or sandstorming state, the glaze of the ceramic insulator is gradually damaged and its operation decreases. In this video, porcelain, glass and composite pin type insulators were introduced. We hope you found this video informative. For more information and to watch other educational videos, subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts with us. Until the next video, goodbye.